He says, therefore, I say unto you, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe. When you pray, believe. Then when you're going to, now get this, the minute you're going to pray, you have to have already decided what you're going to believe. You can't go there and to find out what you're going to believe. You have to believe what the word says when you pray and say, now, I believe this is true. It's true to me. It's mine. I receive it in Jesus name. Now, once you do that, now listen, this is where a lot of people really, it's, it's why they fail to get answers. You will say, I believe I receive. Now, you have to settle it because there's going to be a chance after that. There's going to be an opportunity after that for you to change your mind and change your words. Why? Because you're going to say, this is what is going to be. Bless God. I believe by his stripes I'm healed. And then all of a sudden the, phone, the doctor's going to call you and say, oh, we, you know those other tests we ran? We found more bad stuff. And that's when you're going to start to get nervous and start to shake and start to waver. So you know, see, if you have believed that you have received your healing, no matter what you hear, it doesn't shake you. Why? Well, that's just more of the same old thing. It's not a different thing. That's part of the thing I've already believed that I'm healed of. So why do I care? You tell me more about it? Okay, I don't, I, see, I, I'm not receiving more. Okay? I hear your report, but I've already believed a report. Yep. And because of that, this is already settled. So you can pile all that up there you want. <laughs> why? Because I've already got the answer. So I'm not going to waver. Why? Because this is already settled. Now, see, if you waver, what that, if you say, well, I believe I received, but I, no, no, no. That but, yep. that just meant you wavered. Which means what? means it wasn't settled. When it's settled, it can't be changed. Psalm 119, verse 89. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Right? Forever. His word is never going to change. You've got to be just like that. You've got that. As he is, so are we in this world. How is he? He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So guess what? You've got to learn. You want to know what Christian maturity is? It's you being the same yesterday, today, and forever. Why? Meaning no matter what comes, it's settled. His word is settled. See, you're not believing some weird thing. You're believing the word of God, which is forever settled. So it doesn't matter. They say, oh, we found the tumor. Well, by his stripes, I'm healed. His word is settled. That's done. I ain't worried about it. Oh, we found five more tumors. Okay, wait a minute. I was believing for one tumor. <laughs> I don't know about the other four. I now see. No, see, you got to go. No, 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 no. That covered all of it. Yeah. That covered the, the situation. That covered the source of the tumors, yeah. which is the devil. Come on. And I don't care how you got it. I don't care if it was self-inflicted. I don't care if it was an attack. I don't care what happened. But bottom line is, once you settle it, you say, you know what? I'm telling you, you you've just got to learn. <laughs> okay. Um, civility and, and being uh, polite kills Christians, right? Now, I, I mean, I'm not telling you what to do or what not to do as far as who to see or whatever else to say. All I know is this. When they come back with the results, as soon as they say, here, let me read the results, you need to go, hang on just a second. All right, go ahead. La, 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 la. Okay, that, that would be the best way to handle it, all right? Why? Because you, well, that, that's your choice. I, mm-hmm. You want to pay money to be lied to? Go ahead. Anyway, all right, so <laughs> why? Because if it ain't here, it's a lie. Yeah. Simple as that. Amen. Amen. I, it amazes me. Well, I just went to the doctor to find out what was wrong so I'd know how to pray. <laughs> yeah. Did you take the prescription? Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Listen, I'm not against doctors. God bless them. I know many of them are trying to help. Bottom line is, God is your healer. Come on. Right? And you get to decide how quickly you get to him. If you need to make him your last resort, hurry up and get through all the other stuff (laughs) and get to him. Amen? Does this make sense? Now, so when you're praying, see, you're praying. Listen, if if you correct your saying, you will have to pray about less problems. Do you get that? Right. You won't have to pray about as many problems. If, you're, if you correct your saying from the beginning, because correct saying will eliminate a lot of unnecessary problems, right? And especially problems you bring on yourself. 